Hey guys, it's Jim. Happy New Year. I hope you're having a great start to 2017. I uh, thought I'd put a little video together today to talk about the difference between split toning and split color warmth. Uh, they sound kind of similar. In fact, they're very different. And so I'm going to take a couple of photos, walk you through some edits on those photos using just those two filters. So I'm not going to fully edit the photo. I'm just going to walk through a few uh, changes you can make to the photo and, and demonstrate the power of these two filters. So let me go get them. Um, if you look at them, I, th I think people get confused about it because the names are kind of similar, but in fact they do very different things. As you can see here, split color warmth, it says it selectively enhances the cool and warm tones, which is true. And split toning, uh, it it's tones the image with separate colors for highlights and shadows. And so that's the real difference. Let me get these and close that. Let me just show you. Close that. There we go. Okay. Split color warmth is really separated between warm colors and cool colors. And so if you go to the left, you make things cooler. If you go to the right, you make them warmer. So let me show you. The only warm colors in this sunset shot here are a little bit of light trails there and a little bit of uh, you know light that's in the sky or the clouds there. So if I take the warm colors in this photo, I would likely go to the right to warm them up and I'll just go all the way to 100. Let me show you the before and after. You can see that these lights got a lot more vibrant as did the clouds. Let me show you that again. Yeah, not a ton in the clouds because there's not a lot of warmth there, uh, but that's how that works, right? If I were to go left, it would be a lot bluer, right? I don't like that for this photo. Uh, but for the cool colors, there's a ton of blue. Things are already very cool. So if I go left, it's gonna get bluer and bluer, right? But you notice what else is, as it got more blue, it also darkened up the sky. So I was able, with just two little quick sliders, to go from that, which was just sort of a post-sunset, kind of getting into blue hour, to make it look like that, which is a much more vibrant, uh, darker sort of uh, blue hour type image, which I think looks cool. You could also come this way with the cool colors, and because there's a lot more of them, that a lot more of the photo is going to be affected. And you could do something like that. It creates more of an ethereal, sort of moody feel. Um, I like it, although I think for this photo, I like it better kind of going that way. Let me show you the before and after. And again, we haven't touched split toning, so right now we're just on split color warmth, but you can see that it's a vast difference with just a couple of quick moves of those sliders. Uh, now, split toning. Um, Split color warmth is taking the warm colors and cool colors and adjusting them separately, which is a great idea. Uh, this filter is not anywhere else that I'm aware of. Um, it certainly wasn't in Lightroom, but I love it. Split toning uh, is in Lightroom, which I, I used to use prior to getting Luminar, um, and I use split toning all the time. So uh, I was happy that it was in Aurora, and I'm ecstatic that it's in Luminar because it's, it's literally one of my favorites. The difference between these is where split color warmth is focused on the warm colors and the cool colors, uh, split toning is focused on the highlights and the shadows. So there's a lot more highlights here uh, than there were warm colors. So I think uh, you can just drag this slider to adjust the hue, right? So whatever color section you're in is the hue that you'll pick up for the highlights. So I'm going to leave it in that red, and I'm going to bump the saturation, and look at that sky really coming to life, which I love. I think that's awesome. The shadows, I think I would leave kind of in a blue, and then I just drag the saturation to adjust that as well. And there you go. It's a slightly different look than what we had with the other one. And I might pull these, uh, the hue of the, or the saturation of the highlights up higher to give it more of that kick. But you can see what I did to the photo. Very blue there, uh, kind of washed out, not very uh, vibrant other than the blue. And now quite a bit more pink. Maybe that's a little too much. Maybe that looks a little unreal, but we're just kind of riffing here and doing a demonstration. Maybe take it down to get a little bit more realistic. Um, now, the other thing you can do with split toning is work on the balance. Uh, the further you drag it to the right or the highlights is, the more of the highlights color that's selected is going to be brought forth in the photo, right? So it got a lot more reddish pink. And if I go left, it's going to get a lot more blue because blue is the color of the shadows. I usually leave this right about in the center because uh, I just kind of make my adjustments here and leave them, but you can do whatever you want to do. Uh, now, to me, the power of these two filters is using them together, and that's something I love to do. So I might want these warm colors to get warmer, maybe cool a little bit cooler, and you start getting some interesting color shifts. I might actually take this down here and try to get a little bit more pink uh, to get some of that look, something like that. Let me show you where we started, All right? Very blue, kind of... Um, almost desaturated uh, from, from the 
you know, other colors, right? The blue is fairly prominent, but everything else is kind of gone. And now we've got a lot more vibrant photo. Again, maybe a little too vibrant, maybe take that down. Um, and keep in mind, this is not a final edit. This is literally two filters, which I usually use five, six, seven filters on any particular photo, you know, working with the tone and top and bottom lighting and contrast and, and color temperature. Um, and by the way, color temperature is great to add into these kind of shots because it helps you further enhance these sort of colors. Um, but that's a lot about split toning and split color warmth. Let me show you a couple of other examples. Um, let's try, yeah, let's try this photo here. I'll just open that real quick and we'll just do the same thing. We'll just get the same two filters and I'll just pop those onto this photo. Let me close that. Let me get these guys, split color warmth and split toning. There you go. Now this was a sunset on the beach in Oregon. Not a whole lot of warm, but I want to bring that warmth up considerably. You can see the pink is starting to pop and the cool, maybe I want to cool it off, right? You can get some really beautiful colors. Here's the before and after, kind of gray, kind of washed out. It was definitely a beautiful sunset, but as a single exposure, this doesn't always catch it all. Uh, boom, right? A lot more uh, sort of pizzazz there. Now here, the highlights, maybe I want to take the highlights and make them a bit more pink. Maybe I want the shadows to be a little more blue. And maybe I want to combine that with some of this stuff. Um, you can start to see how you can get some really creative color combinations, right? I've taken a sort of washed out, somewhat desaturated sunset, giving it a bit more pop and uh, very pink and sort of lovely. Um, and again, that's just these two filters. I would do a whole lot more to it to actually finish the image. But I just like to point out the things that you can do with these filters. That's it right there, right? So pretty big change with just a couple of moments of work. And let me show you one other example. And this one's just going to be split toning. Again, it's one of my favorite tools. I absolutely love it. I'm going to go get that filter here. I'm going to close those. And let me get split toning. The cool thing about split toning is you can really create some vintage type looks. Um, in this one, right, very beautiful nature photo of a waterfall in Oregon, but maybe I want to make it a little different. Maybe I want to go a little more yellow on some of the highlights, and maybe I want to maybe I want to try red, and hey, look at that. Looks like a photo taken in 1975, right? Kind of a vintage look, and the truth is there's a million things you could do. You could go green there, kind of red here, a little bit different. That looks like an old film look. Um, there's a million things you could do, literally, um, like probably a million, maybe more. Um, there it is, a bit more blue. Perhaps, um, you know, you wanted to go for a bluer look. The, the point is, you can do, look at that, that looks vintage to me. So I think of split toning as a sort of the gateway to vintage processing. Um, and that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to demonstrate the power of that one alone without the split color warmth. But there's the straight shot, straight out of camera. And here it is done up. And that's a few different examples of how to use uh, both split toning and split color warmth. I hope it helps. If you have questions, let me know. If there's other filters you'd like me to explore in depth, let me know. I keep doing this stuff hopefully every week or so. Have a lot of fun with it. So have fun out there yourselves. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Again, Happy New Year. Adios, my friends. See you next time.